Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one is entitled Planet X System, Planets, Moons, and Debris. Now, the LASCO, which stands for Large Angle and Spectrometric Chronograph, comprises of three chronograph telescopes, which cover the sun's brilliance with an occulter so that the activity on the sun's corona can be clearly observed. The chronographs were designed to view different areas of the sun and uh, of the sun's corona. Now, the C1 chronograph was to view the sun's corona from 1.1 to 3 solar radii and therefore from extremely close to the sun's surface. Whilst the C2 and C3 were designed to view the sun's corona further out. But um, data from the C1 chronograph is no longer available. And this is because in 1998, uh, control was lost over the SOHO spacecraft on which the LASCO instruments are mounted. And control was re-established some weeks later, but the C1 chronograph was apparently not recovered. However, some of these images uh, from 1996 from the LASCO C1 chronograph are available. And of course, the chronographs view the sun's corona in visible light. But um, what we see in these images, if we closely examine them, is that there were lots and lots of very small objects in the sun's corona. And if you look at a close-up, and it's sometimes not very clear in the PDF version, but you can see these objects. It looks like a dark, um, round uh, object with a cloud around it. So this is most likely an object with a toroidal shaped cloud around it. There's another one there. And there are also lots of objects that don't seem as regular in their shape as these particular ones. So these small ones uh, may be very small stellar cores. The, the ones that do not seem to have a regular shape may be debris. And we can see there are lots of these here. You can see one there, there, lots of objects. And over here, these are also either objects or debris. These are most likely debris. The stellar cores themselves are usually found in the sun's corona, whilst the debris is just everywhere in front uh, around the sun. So you can see there's a discharge between at least two objects here. And you can see lots of debris everywhere, lots of objects in the sun's corona. And we can see these in a close-up. You can see there's an object there. We can see lots of objects here in the corona. And we can see lots of them there. So there are lots and lots of objects. So they were there already in 1996. This image is from July 23rd, 2017. It's an SDO image um, in 9.4 nanometers, so it's an X-ray image. You can see the same pattern. Dark holes with toroidal or ring-shaped uh, coronal plasma cloud around it. Lots of these. And if you examine it carefully, they come in different sizes, not all of them seem to be uh, have this uh, round shape. The round shape may indicate a spherical object, but uh, most of this is most likely debris. And if you look carefully, you can see them on the sun itself. Uh, but it's more difficult to see it. Uh, these are more clearly seen there. And then there are these images. These are Stereo A EUVI images. And we can see these objects uh, in front of the sun, um, some inside the corona, some seemingly in front, some below the sun. So these uh, do not seem to be to have a regular shape, so they're most likely debris. They are surrounded in clouds of coronal plasma. 
and we see two here making a connection we see some more there this is one of the clearest images this is a stereo a euvi 304 angstrom from june 2018 you can clearly see that these are not regular shaped these are not spherical objects these have an irregular shape so these are most likely the debris that the stellar core shared. You can see a close-up here. You can clearly see these are not spherical objects. These are pieces of um, the material that the stellar core shared because they share their outer layers. So what exactly are these objects? There have been many stellar cores observed in the sun's corona. These objects range in size from several times larger than the Earth to much larger than the sun. Stellar cores absorb energy from the sun and seem to regain an atmosphere or envelope made of coronal plasma from which they then emit light. And you see one here, this one's about four times the size of the Earth and it's still dark so it's most likely a new arrival because it hasn't had time to absorb enough coronal plasma from the sun to, be, to have developed this atmosphere that we see that this one does have. It is absorbing coronal plasma from the sun. You can see the connection that it makes with the sun through which it absorbs material and energy from the sun. So it most likely will regain, uh, will gain an atmosphere from the sun's corona, just like this one seems to have done and is now emitting light from it. And here's one of the larger ones. This one turned out to be uh, about four times larger than the sun. Initially, I estimated it to be three, at least three times larger than the sun, but close examination revealed it's actually four times larger than the sun. And you can see the, the jets from the sun going out and this plasma in these jets enveloping this object. So this object has to be very close to the sun, so we can do a size comparison. And the sun size is given by this white circle on the occulter. Now, even though all the objects seem to be able to emit light from the captured atmosphere, it's not likely that they were all one stars. The larger ones were most likely living stars once, but the hundreds and thousands of smaller objects must have been the planets and moons that orbited these stars, or they are debris. This is because the stellar cores share their outer layers of material due to their low energy status, affecting the ability to generate a high enough gravitational field which would allow them to hold on to their outer layers. This shedding creates a lot of debris in the solar system. This debris floats around in the inner solar system and can be seen as white or black dots in many solar images. The stellar core debris can be differentiated from stellar cores due to the fact that stellar cores or objects that were once living stars and planets are attracted to the sun and can usually be observed in the sun's corona whilst the debris seems not to be attracted to the sun but just float around in space. And in addition, stellar cores will, of course, be spherical. Um, now here we see a lot of this debris as these white and black dots. They, as you can see, they even appear to be in f directly in front of the sun. So these are not stars. This is debris in uh, the sun's uh, outer corona. And just floating around in space, uh, they just float around in space because they're very low. This material is very low in gravitational energy, so it does not respond to gravitational fields at all. Now the debris and the smaller stellar cores are usually seen being ejected away from the sun when there is a CME event along with the larger objects. Since the smaller stellar cores and the debris are less massive than the large stellar cores, it is likely that they are ejected to much larger distances away from the sun and may then reach the planets. This may explain why small stellar cores, moon-sized perhaps, have been observed from the Earth's surface as well as non-spherical objects. Uh, these would be asteroid-shaped, irregular in shape, which would be part of the Planet X-generated uh, debris. Since these observations have been done in spite of the chemtrail and sun simulator program, which seem designed to hide the presence of these objects, it is likely that they are many more than the few which have been observed. In conclusion, large numbers of small planet X system stellar cores, which were most likely once living planets and moons orbiting a star, 
that has now become one of the largest stellar cores observed in the Sun's corona and their debris was already present in the Sun's corona in large numbers in 1996. The number of objects seemed to have increased by 2017, indicating that a great number of objects came in between the ensuing years. The huge amount of stellar core debris seen in the Sun's corona and in space between the Sun and the Earth arises as a result of the Planet X system stellar core shedding their outer layers of material. These stellar core pieces will have an irregular shape whilst the stellar cores will be spherical. The debris pieces may range in size from dust particles to the size of the Earth. And here are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.